Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add extensions or add-ons to the Mozilla Firefox web browser. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So all you have to do is just search for Firefox extensions and should be addons.mozilla.org. So you can just navigate to that as well just by going into the URL search bar. But you can see we landed on our extension page here. You can search for add-ons up at the top. There's also a theme section as well if you'd like to install a different theme in your Firefox browser. But we're going to go back underneath extensions here. They should have top rated extensions listed up here at the top as well as trending extensions. So pretty straightforward. You can also search by different categories as well. And there's plenty to choose from here. I mean, there should be thousands of extensions total. And it's kind of funny that they call them add-ons. They also call them extensions. Different web browsers call them different things. Firefox, I think, calls them both add-ons and extensions, which is a little strange, I guess. It kind of throws me off a little bit. But regardless, it's one and the same. So you see there's a lot of different extensions in here. And if there was one particular one you wanted to install, you just would select it. And then you would select the Add to Firefox button you would have to accept the permissions for whatever add-on you selected, and then you would select the Add button, and then OK. And then if you ever wanted to remove any extensions, you could just select a little puzzle piece icon up at the top right, and you can select the gear icon next to it that corresponds to that particular add-on, and then select the Remove Extension. You can also select Manage Extension, and then just temporarily disable it just by toggling it to the Off position. So I say temporarily, it'll stay off as long as you want it to stay off. It just doesn't have to be reinstalled necessarily just to turn it off. And you can re-enable it easily just by coming back in here and toggling into the on position. And you can delete it by just selecting the three dot icon and then select remove. Or like I said, you can also do it through that puzzle piece icon up at the top and then the gear icon and then just selecting remove extension. So, pretty straightforward process, guys. Do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.